I'm getting to you, little guy. <laughs> I'm getting to you. Whilst Mum was feeding baby Sean, Andrew wanted his chocolate milk warmed up, and he threw a massive tantrum over it. No! I can't even understand you. You're crying so much. When you're done crying, you come up and ask me what you want nicely. Mommy, I want it. What do you want, Andrew? <laughs> I don't understand you. Talk to me properly. Talk to so me properly. I can understand Normal you. Talking. I don't understand you, Andrew. You want your drink warmed up? But ask me nicely. I'd like my drink warmed up, please, Say it. Mommy. I want my drink warm up. Ignore it. Ignore it. I want to teach Andrea how to not give in to Andrew's tantrums. What's going on? What's Come in, Fred. Fred was in shock. He looked very pale. <laughs> Are you okay? What? Seen... <laughs> Is it the crying? I've never seen him act in this <laughs> manner before. You don't hit me, Andrew. I don't like that. Andrea started to catch on very quickly. And when he hit her, she took him straight to the naughty spot. You don't hit people. You sit there and you think about it. It upset me as a parent to see my child become that emotionally upset where he was just almost begging to be picked up and held. I want you to listen to what I'm saying because I've been in many, many houses where parents have thought, oh my God, it feels like it's all gone mayhem. It feels like it's getting worse. The only thing that just got worse was that Andrew just realized that his mum and dad are now in control of the discipline. <laughs> You don't hit me. <laughs> All I wanted you to do was say, Mommy, can you warm up my chocolate milk in a nice, nice way? Don't pick him up. It's not a baby. Don't pick him up. Don't pacify me in that way. Honestly, you are not, you are not being cruel. You're just setting boundaries. He will thank you for it later. Trust me on this. Or he will. OK? Anytime somebody comes in your house and starts to give you directions, it's hard. It's hard to accept change. It's hard to accept criticism. Can I have that spoon right there, Andrew? Tonight at dinner, I want to put a stop to Andrew sitting at the table and not eating a thing. Andrew, you need to sit down and you need to eat your chicken. Ew. I taught Andrea to use a method where she would give Andrew lots of praise and encouragement for when he was eating at the table. Do you know what you're wasting? All of your free time tonight. Use it in a positive way. Come on, four more, then we can go on and play. Andrew, eat your four bites. No. Okay, go. Pick up your first one. Go. Let's count. You still have to finish your dinner. Show mommy one. Ready? Good boy. Good job, Andrew. That's one. Can you show me one? Use your finger. One. Good boy. That's it. Every time Andrew ate a spoonful, Andrea would praise him and give him more encouragement to take the next spoonful. Now, Mummy asked for four in this four. night. Four. Show me four, Andrew. You know, keep it light. Four. Encouragement. Which four, is Andrew. Four. four. Mummy, clap because you've had four and listen. Well done. Andrew ate his dinner and he was so proud of himself. It's all very well that you give your child discipline, but at the same time, you need a balance by giving them lots of praise and encouragement too. You did a really good job. I'm proud of you. No way are Sean and Andrew ever going to get the sleep they need if they continue to share the same room. So today we put baby Sean into his own room and gave Andrew his bedroom back. Look at that, you're such a big helper. It's the first step for the boys to get the sleep that they properly need. What I want to discuss with the pair of you is the stay in bed technique. So, this is how it goes. You tuck him into bed, kiss and cuddles, good night. He comes out, you say, it's bedtime, darling. You tuck him back in, you give him a kiss. The third time he comes out, you ignore. And you just take him straight into his bed and put the covers over him and walk out. OK? And if he comes out the fourth time and the fifth time, you repeat the third action, which is to ignore him and put him back into his bed. You think Sean's doing well in his room? Sean, he can sleep by himself, and I can sleep by myself. <laughs> yes. I love to hear that. There needs to be elimination process where Andrew can have a little bit of water, 
that the light is left on. No, no. And the door left ajar. See, but Andrew simply can't keep coming out for loads of excuses all the time. Mommy. Andrew had his little baby hamster that was um, nocturnal and uh, decided to do some exercise <laughs> and he came out to tell his mum. Good night. Back in bed. Remember the technique. Remember to tell him it's time for bed, darling. Go. Keep it nice. Bed. Keep it nice. It's time for bed, darling. In you go. Time for bed. Good night. Respond to him. Can we fight? Don't respond to him. Can we fight? Andrew walked out of his room three times within a 15 minute period instead of 30 times. It was very peaceful in the West End household, and anybody could tell you that it's never like that. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave us. <laughs> Now that I've taught Andrea and Fred the techniques, I'm going to go away for a couple of days because it's really important that they grasp how to do it themselves. And remember the pair of you. It's about the finer details in the techniques. Go through from A, B and C. Andrea, be strong. Keep positive. Joe's making a big difference in our house. Fred, take care. Thank you. It may take a person like her to turn things around. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. No doubt that Andrea and Fred are going to be put to the test. And whilst they're doing it, I'm going to be watching them. Coming up on Super Nanny, the Westons take Andrew on without Joe's supervision. Oh, I told you not to hit your brother. But Andrew Sit. won't go down now without a fight. Stay on the naughty spot. Do you Stay understand? On the naughty spot. When Super Nanny returns.